Now, before we leave, um, database security, uh, I would like to talk about differential privacy. Uh, differential privacy as a uh, specific field and, and in particular uh, to the uh, rigor that really is necessary to uh, to affect it is uh, a rather new field and so it is unlikely that you will see any questions on differential privacy actually on the exam. However, it does partake of uh, some concepts which are definitely uh, old school um, and have been around for a number of years. Uh, and so, you know, it, it is not entirely um, unlikely that you will uh, encounter these concepts on the exam. So, in a sense, uh, you could see this just as, as a kind of review. Now, uh, differential privacy, um, the name differential privacy uh, comes from the concept that a, a database and the uh, particularly the ability to query the database <coughs> should be such that um, there should be no difference or you should not be able to detect a difference when an individual's record is removed from the database. In other words, there should not be a detectable difference between the database with one individual's information and without it. And, uh, of course, you know, if you can look at the entire database, it's going to be uh, immediately obvious uh, that there is a difference, just purely in terms of the number of records. But, uh, that is why differential privacy relates more to um, to queries and, and the ability to query the database than to the actual management of the database itself. So um, this, is, this is more about uh, what can you do in terms of reporting, what can you do in terms of the, uh, the queries that uh, users are able to make on the database. Um, we have, as I say, you know, this is based on some concepts that are uh, already uh, well understood. Um, and one of them is aggregation. Aggregation, I mean, we talk about aggregation attacks, but we can also use aggregation um, as a means of protecting privacy. And so we can say, no, you cannot ask for an individual's salary, but you can ask for the average salary or the, the total uh, of salaries for a group. And therefore, um, because it's a group, you do not know any individual's salary. Uh, now, of course, if the group consists of one person, that doesn't hold. Um, so, um, there is a, a calculus that can go on in this. Uh, and uh, there are other factors here. Now, one of the factors that may seem very strange to people is noise and randomization. Um, so essentially, uh, this is lying to people a little bit um, so that you do not give 
people um, the actual answer from the database. You modify it a little bit. And uh, again, in the, the example of having um, the, uh, you know, you can't have the specific salary, but you can't have the average salary. If you modify the answer to the specific salary um, a little bit, and uh, then when you do the query that we previously talked about, where uh, you do one query on the entire company and another query on the entire company less John Smith, um, then the fact that it's not quite correct means that your calculation of the uh, of John Smith's salary can be wildly inaccurate. And so we have protected John Smith's privacy by adding some level of noise and randomization. As I say, with uh, the example of you know a group, if the group is one, the uh, we don't have the same level of protection. And so, um, in the same way, um, there's additional calculus in terms of the amount of noise, the amount of randomization that we put into the answers. And uh, so we can, uh, you know, that's another factor there. Now, we can, we can do some kinds of query restrictions, um, but using this calculus, we can, in, in fact, calculate a, a privacy budget. You know, how private do you want this to be? Therefore, you know, how uh, large a data set do we have to have before we say, okay, this is a sufficient aggregation, this is a f sufficiently large group that we are not giving away too much about any individual. Um, again, you know, how much noise? The, the more numbers in the aggregate, the fewer numbers of records for any individual, um, the more noise, you know, all of this goes to increase the privacy. And so we, um, we can juggle that, we can see how much um, uh, we need to do in terms of aggregation, how much we need to do in terms of noise, um, how much uh, we need to restrict uh, the uh, number of records for an individual, or how much, um, uh, or if, if a, an individual's, the number of records on an individual goes up, um, do we have to insist that uh, the aggregate becomes a larger group? Um, before we we say yes, that person's privacy is uh, protected. So that becomes the calculus in terms of the privacy budget, and we can actually sort of you know come to a numeric conclusion as to just how much privacy uh, that we have. And and so, in a sense, for the first time, we have an accurate definition in in part at least of what uh what is privacy